ओम शांति ओम शांति the soul is living in the living soul there is the mind and intellect and both are living so the mind since it's living it works 24 hours even while we are asleep in the form of our dreams different memories from the past thoughts about the future emerge through the mind the living mind is very powerful there is one speciality which is very important according to the current time as per time every now and then we should quieten the mind we won't be able to do it for a long time because we are karma yogis but if done according to proper discipline for 10 minutes for 1 minute for 15 minutes at that time the the mind would be getting the battery of the mind is getting recharged and the silent mind it's as if it's like a fuel or food just as the body needs some rest it needs food in the same way for the mind to charge the battery we need to quieten the mind for this we need practice because to think is the nature of the mind and there are tasks as well because mind and because the mind is in relationship with the body with the things of the body along with situations it's always connected and since it's connected those kind of thoughts keep emerging again and again and to quieten the mind we need to do swa chintan that is to think about the self which is the eternal form one is peace and the other is shant which is quieten calm the mind many times they use the word this person's demeanor is very peaceful because in any situation the mind not just thinks but as is the situation it also responds gives solutions it also takes decisions and to take decision thoughts do tell to take place so if we practice we start a practice or a habit and as we had started through the day five times we try for 10 minutes that we try and quieten the mind calm the mind and for that first and foremost we need to go beyond the sense organs for 10 minutes whatever is happening around us don't see that whatever sound is happening around don't listen to it don't speak so you're quieting calming down the physical sense organs so this gives cooperation for quieting the mind and you will feel when the mind is quieted as if 
a lot of things of the past or even if something had happened an hour ago, it feels as if it's getting merged. And because it is getting merged, you'll feel lightness. And because of that lightness, you develop clarity. Many times, because of something, the mind can get aggravated. Sometimes through thoughts, and sometimes even through words, we say such words. So some people say, calm down. No, when you calm down and think, it's different. You will get better answers. Be quiet and calm down and think. So what is that to calm down and to think? means when we go take our mind into silence to quieten it, the thoughts that develop after that, those will be clear, those would be right thoughts. Myself throughout the day, many times, many things, there could be a situation which is confusing. Okay, we won't get into confusion, but the situation is of confusion. So if we quieten our mind, and then when we listen, then we see the situation, then it's absolutely clear. So through the quietened mind, you will enhance the power to realize. The one who keeps thinking again and again, the person will never have time for realization. And when the mind is quietened, immediately after that, there is realization. What's right? Should I be saying this way or not? What should I be doing now? So all of us, we should all practice that we quieten, calm our mind many times through the day. Dadi Janki would used to say, when I think, I quieten my mind. When I speak, I quieten my mind. So when I have to take a decision, I quieten my mind. Once I was seeing a lot of, meeting a lot of people and Dadi was, going, was being introverted and through that silent, quiet space, she would just speak a few words and those people would feel those few words is like a blessing. And they said, my soul just needed this. You just said what I needed. So I used to say, Dadi, how is this so accurate? Dadi said, because I go in, I quieten, calm my mind. And when I quieten the mind, I get lots of elevated thoughts. And those elevated thoughts I share, and those become blessing. So even in service, even while sharing knowledge, even if someone is asking a question just before answering that, calm down. Many times some people say, our daddy is calm, uh, quiet and so they think maybe they don't have the answers for that. Answers are always there, but one is to give an instant answer and the other is to go become go introvert, serene, and in Baba's remembrance, then the answer that's given, that would be very new. So the energy changes. The quality becomes so powerful because we have charged our battery. 
So this one practice at, current, at this current time gives us a lot of cooperation. And apart from this, you will there'll be as if we're also getting touching from Baba. When the mind is quieted, you will feel as if Baba is giving some signals. But if the mind keeps running, what is from my side, what is from Baba's side, what do others need? We won't be able to make that, we won't be able to experience that. And when the mind is quiet, calm, whatever thoughts emerge and whatever realizations happen, you know that Baba is giving those in signals and then you feel so happy isn't it when when we catch the signals from baba as per the time what is needed what is the need of the souls of this time that would be very clear and then the quality of service will also be very good so a quietened mind will lead to a calm personality, character, or nature, because even the intellect calms down. The intellect doesn't need to give a decision again and again. Otherwise, the intellect acts like a security guard. Oh, this is not right. Don't do this. Don't do that. But when the mind is calm, the intellect will also be calm. And when both are calm and quiet, just imagine, think, how will our nature, our interaction, our face, what would it reveal? It will reveal that silence, which Baba talks about, sweet silence. Therefore, all of you do this practice throughout the day while you're doing action. Just sit down for five minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes even two minutes, just sit down. The introvertedness increases, the serenity, maturity increases, the power, energy increases. And our nature and our sanskars, there's a lot of transformation in our nature and in our sanskars. So a calm mind and practice to be calm and quieted now and then throughout the day. Om Shanti.